Fear not. Let's go. Let's go. Zilmer, really tough match with Quiz. Take us through it a little bit. Uh, yeah, me and Quiz have a little rivalry going on. Uh, he's a great opponent. Thank you. Uh, it, it was just a fun match. Um, he's a tough opponent, like I said. He's big. Um, I'm not the biggest heavyweight out there, but it was a good match. You know, beating a, a real credential guy like Wiz, what does that mean for you and, and your career? Um, a guy like this? I, honestly, it's expected. I, I want to win those matches. Uh, we've put them in our heads thousands of times um, in those scenarios. Um, we've played it in our head, like I said, a million times. So it's expected. And uh, if it doesn't happen, we got to keep building the win. But um, that's what we want. So. You know, talk, talk us through that final sequence. You know, he tries a roll that you, you're able to keep. Oh, uh, so me and Gwiz, like I said, have had history. Um, and, you know, he's hit me with that multiple times now. So uh, I knew he was going to take me, got my hips up. I was like, I got to scramble. I got to wrestle out of this position. So I had my hook, my leg hooked a little bit so I could, you know, kind of trip him back a little bit. So he had nowhere to take me. So it's a position we worked on a lot before, you know. Yeah. Oh man, uh, it's amazing. Um, I thought I was done. I thought my career was over. Um, I had four knee surgeries. Um, it was a, a tough situation for me. Um, obviously, it was just adversity, and uh, it was just uh, you know something that God put in my life, and I gotta overcome it. So uh, I was, uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I've been in this situation a thousand times in my head, and I just made sure it happened. So my walk out sign was Cody Johnson until you can't. So. Um, and where we come from, if you say the C word, you got 10 push ups. So everybody's going to hit me up probably after they see the interview. So let's go. Let's go push ups. Best two out of three tomorrow with Mace. And what's your history been with him? Uh, we wrestled in 2021. Um, trials, uh, that was my first time up to heavyweight. Uh, that was the only time I've ever wrestled. So uh, we've trained multiple times throughout uh, you know, the years, but uh, only one competition match. What was the result? Uh, I ended up losing that match. Uh, it was a close one. I think it was a one-point match, one or two-point match. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a good match. It was a hard-fought battle. Two out of three is a totally different thing, though, right? A best two out of three. You've been in that situation before because you've been on a world team, right? Yep. So, so what do you got to do to get the? Two, I, I know win two matches, obviously. Yeah. But that's huge, you know. What do you got to do to to make this a dogfight and, and get him? Uh, I played this scenario over my my head. I said a thousand times. And uh, I'm just gonna go make it happen. Um, I know what I gotta do to win. Um, like you said, win best two of three, but we gotta make it a hard fought. Uh, we train this way. We train uh, one match to a hard hard match after that. And uh, it's a unique style. And it's it shows right now, especially late at night when we go, go out and perform. The knee surgeries, were they all on the right knee? Yeah, all on my knee. Uh, so I just, like I, I got a staph infection. So I had to deal with a, that battle, but um, it was just something that was, I guess it was, uh, you know, it was a major thing, but at the same time, didn't realize, you know, it was a minor thing. You know, I just couldn't recover, couldn't heal. And uh, yeah, that was kind of it. Training in the Minnesota room, have you been able to train with Gable at all over the last few years? He's one of the only guys oh, that yeah. can crack the case of Mason Yeah, Paris. yeah, absolutely. We've trained a lot. Um, over the last few years, we've trained a lot. Uh, last few months we've trained a couple times and uh, he's the he's the feel that everyone needs and uh, what I need so he's the he's the champ so he's really good you think he's helped you prepare for this definitely yep absolutely he has uh, all my coaches have um, and we're ready so has he given you any advice on Mason specifically uh, just just little stuff I mean just not so much specific on him but just to help my style to help me out the, the best I can and uh, you know, get me where I want to be, so. Hayden. Uh, hey, this is World Wrestling Live. I'm here with Hayden. What does it mean to you to compete at the Olympic Trials? Man, it's everything. It's been a childhood dream of mine. Uh, ever since I was a young kid, I, I wanted to wrestle in the Olympics. Uh, it's the only tournament that I haven't wrestled in, so. I got two more matches I got to win to, to get that, that goal, so. Awesome. Well, congratulations, and I appreciate you taking the time out there. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. What are your jumps? 88 pounds. Yeah. I bring this up, right? Yeah. What are your jumps from cadets 
to now. What do you weigh? What'd you weigh in at today, by the way? Um, I was like 225 or so something. You're still small for the weight. Yeah, yeah. But you I was were an 88 small. pounder. Was when you started the USA Wrestling stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I was an 88, uh, 84 pounder. 80, uh, sorry, I was my a cadet bad. 84 pound champion. Um, and then I was a cadet 91, and I just kind of made the progression. I started growing after I was about a. After my freshman year of college, I started really putting on a lot of weight. Just hype to my dad's 6'6", six, six, and I'm, I was, at the time I was like 5'8", so I, I had a lot of growing to do in his sense, you know, his you genetics were kicking. You 84, 184, right? 184. Was yep. that the highest you ever All-American at was 84? That was the highest I went wrestling college. It was, a, oh, wow. it was brutal. It was brutal making that weight. I could did, see. did the injury affect your weight at all? Did you lose any weight? Did you end up gaining weight after? I did. I lost a lot of weight. Um, you know, it was just uh, atrophy um, in a sense, but um, honestly, uh, it made me stronger. It's, I'm a different, on a different level because of it. Uh, mentally, physically, I was doing things in the weight room that uh, I never could do before. Um, by a long shot and uh you know i owe it to uh my, my coaches at body Juve to help me out with that they kind of kept me uh sane through the process you know I didn't, I didn't know really what to think these guys would put me through a hard workout every every couple days and it was uh it was really really beneficial i feel like your size now is better than oh, where you were at before the definitely injury? Yeah, yeah definitely I've, I've put on a lot of weight um yeah started working with uh, coach cal at training lab and uh it's helped me out tremendously what year was this uh, I, it was in uh, 2023. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. all the surgeries were in 2023? Uh, yeah, all the surgeries in 2023. You had four surgeries last year. Four surgeries last year, yeah. In what span? Like. Uh, February was the first initial surgery. I, I just broke my kneecap, and that was a problem. Um, and then, uh, so, you know, like, it could have been something that was easily fixed and, and stuff like that. It just, just so happened that I got a, a staph infection. And then uh, ended up uh, having to just deal with that, you know, fluid and stuff in my knee. I couldn't get it out. And then I had another surgery in June. Had another surgery in uh, July. Had it my last surgery in August. Had to spend uh, three nights in the hospital. And then uh, I ended up having to uh, um, do uh, six weeks of IV antibiotics. So I'd have to go in every Friday and stick an IV in my arm. And um, it, it was it was pretty crazy. I got I got a lot of veins and. Uh, it somehow blew them up a lot. I don't know how that happened. They kept missing them or something, but it was a kind of a brutal thing. You know, like I said, though, it made me way tougher. Um, you know, uh, I went months without sleeping. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's probably where I'm at right now. Thank you. Yep, thank